inside Illustrator, you also have access to many different types of brushes uh, that can do, you know, replicas of the material world. And the way to see those is to go to this little icon at the bottom of the brushes library and choose artistic. And inside here, you can have a whole range of, of options. So for example, if I go to the ink brush, it'll open up a separate panel and I could dock this inside here, but you'll see several different options for working with ink. And so if I'm on my brush and I choose the shape here and I draw, you'll see that it has that slight variation as if I was drawing ink. And you can go in and change the overall size. And what's kind of cool is say you wanted to use any of these shapes. So if I, if I do a different one, if I do this shape, go to my brush tool, right? This one has a little bit of transparency on it, which is kind of neat, right? Those are gonna overlay on each other. If I wanted to turn these into shapes to manipulate over an area, I can also go to object and expand appearance. And now I've got a couple more sort of interesting shapes to work with inside here. So that's sort of a dynamic way of creating forms. You also have separate ones that'll create these like dot-like structures. So if I go to my brush and choose something like that, right? It's gonna give me ink splatters, something like that. So you've got a lot of options and I recommend that you explore through and you use these both as if you were drawing something with paint, but also to figure out ways to break them. If you have the option of using a tablet, if you double click inside the brushes panel on your shape, it'll take a second to pop up, but this is where you have the option to change any of these settings based on the pressure. And this is if you were using a tablet with a, with a stylus, um, you could change the sort of response to how it works. And so same thing with bearing, which would be the way that you're, you're or tilt the way that you're tilting your, um, your pen.